one more soybean truck down. I think we've only got three or four left on this contract. <laughs> And we got some rain last night, so that's a good thing. I'm thinking my rain gauges weren't empty, so I don't know exactly how much we got, but somewhere around half inch, quarter to half inch, somewhere in there. Not as much as we would have liked, but definitely helps. As mentioned previously, it is that time of year. Harvest is coming up on us quick. You can see we've got the corn header and the combine behind us. Jim and I are gonna go through a few things on this today. It did go through the shop at Midwest Machinery, so the bearings and seals are all good. We know that most of the stuff on it is good. We also know it needs new knives and bushings put underneath it. What the knives and bushings do is they spin around, essentially it's just a lawnmower blade. So these right here spin around really fast. And as the corn plant is being pulled down here between the rollers that strips the ear off, the rest of the plant gets chewed up by these lawnmower blades and essentially it just sizes the residue down so that uh, we've got smaller residue for tilling. These are the new blades right here. That's gonna be a, a good improvement over what we've got on there now. The first thing I better do is reload this grain cart in case we get a soybean truck coming in here anytime this afternoon. How are you, Rhiannon? Good. Good. So you can see here we've got our custom spout removed from this bin and we got one of the sumps open. So I will climb up here and show you guys inside. We got it down to the point where we were able to get in through the top hatch here and poke this sump open. I think what the deal is, is there's just too many pods. So there's more sumps on the way back, but we'll pull out of this far draw for a while, and then we'll get more open later, and then we can piece this thing back together. Okay, well that is loading. I'm gonna check out some of our box of goodies here from May West. Take a look at starting on this thing. Come on, focus. Starting on this thing. Got the first one installed pretty easily here. All you gotta do is Take the nut off on the back side of this bolt, slide the cap over, it snaps over the original cast piece, and then you tighten it back down. Look at that. So the snoot boots go on pretty easy. The snout savers here, I've got to trim just a little bit to get them to fit up front. But what I need is a strap kit that May West makes to get these a little bit wider for our 30 inch rows. So these are gonna wait for another day. And Jim down there took my impact anyway. So we need two bushings. I'll go get two bushings. I'll return these bolts. That's we got it. enough knives. Do we got to check the oil in them yet? Or? Nope, they check that. Oh, okay. So once we get those knives finished, um, all we're gonna do then is put these poly pieces on. So I'll get a jigsaw oh. deal for these two. Okay. So by the way, I found out these are wide enough. I didn't realize <laughs> there's two end pieces that are narrower, so my bad. We are gonna get these on, but we still need a jigsaw blade to trim the front corners. And since I'll be gone for an hour grabbing supplies, I'm gonna throw this in the shop for Jim. He can pull the batteries out of the nose there, and I'll get some batteries for this thing. All right, I'll grab batteries then. You can yank these out, I'll be back in an hour. Yeah, yank these out, I remember that. No problem. <laughs> okay. Suppose the new ones are lighter than the old ones were? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Thank you. I'll install the final two bushings and knives here. Well, Jim throws batteries in over there, but I'm gonna need both hands so I gotta set the camera down. You got them swapped? Yeah. Perfect. All right, you wanna, you wanna cut all these now? Me neither. Oh yeah, that's gonna work way nicer. As long as I don't cut, cut through too many of the bolt holes. That actually doesn't cut bad at all. It's a little bit of a bow in them, so it's got some good so pressure tight. on it. 
Yep. No, m unless it's in the computer maybe and I don't know where to find it. We'll see if you messed it up or not. Jim had to run and I've got to run for a conference call now too. And Becky's got to take off to bring Rhiannon to gymnastics. So we're gonna hold off on the uh, snout savers that go underneath here. But we got the boots on, we got the knives and the bushings replaced. So that head is completely ready to go. I don't know if I'll come back out here or not tonight. Didge, do you think I'll be back out here tonight? You're not sure, huh? A couple hours later. Yeah, I'm not good at sitting still. Especially this time of year. Do you think we should wash the soybean header? Yeah. Let's go check it out. You're making elephant toothpaste? <laughs> but I don't understand. We don't have any elephants. So what's elephant toothpaste for? I don't know. You don't know? What do you make it out of? I don't know. You don't even know what you make it out of? No. But Onyx does. But Onyx does. Oh, well, yeah, trust him. Look at how disgustingly dirty this thing is. Um, should we go get burgers from the bar and ride around and look at crops or should I take the bat wing out and mow some of the road ditches? Well, I thought I was going to the bar, but I got a soybean truck coming. I really need to shave. <laughs> At the Zick Farm, actually, when I was tiling there, that's where, well, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I hit a three-phase power line mm -hmm. a month or oh, so ago. That was right. at, that, that was, was at, at their farm. farm. And you're yep. still alive? We're all still alive. And wow. uh, there's a few of us that probably shouldn't be. And it was hot? It was hot. This was yep. an active line. It was, uh, it was, uh, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Milo. It was smoking, popping, Cracking and fire coming out of the ground as I was lifting the plow out of the ground. So I'd plowed. And, and that doesn't normally happen when you lift the plow. Hmm. No, no. I knew something bad was going on. <laughs> so I, I had plowed under it. If I would have stopped 10 feet sooner, I went to hit it. But uh, I'd plowed up, stop, and I was lifting out of the ground. And then that's it. when it broke. Yeah. So you don't think you plowed through it. You lifted up. I definitely lifted it. up under it. Oh. And if, But if I went to hit it that time, we would have hit it with the hole. A little bit later, because we would. Have, we were so why aren't us. you dead? I'm curious. If you broke it, like it never arced the plow. And this was marked. Yep. We should also clarify, correct? Nope. Or which it, they call right. they they you called them though, and they missed it. Yep. So they had marked uh, other places, and they didn't mark that spot. So like, oh, 